Hi, I'm your Minivan Daikin MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle. Today, let's talk about chlorella, a superfood. Have you heard of it? Chlorella is a type of single-celled green algae that grows in fresh water. It's native to Taiwan and Japan. This superfood is rich in phytonutrients, and it's high in protein as well. It also happens to be full of that wonderful vitamin B12, which is pretty important to people on a plant-based diet. Today, we're gonna to review the nutritional composition of chlorella, as well as review the scientific evidence behind its purported health benefits. Then, at the end, we're gonna talk about the risks of chlorella and identify people who may not want to eat this superfood. Here are some fun facts about chlorella. As brought up a second ago, chlorella is a single-celled algae. Scientists are interested in this algae for many reasons, but a main reason is because this algae tends to grow very rapidly and they have simple life cycles. In addition to research on chlorella and human health, scientists have been exploring the use of chlorella as a food source for a potential human journey to Mars, a possible biofuel, an additive to animal feed, a biofertilizer, an additive to dyes and paints, a mechanism of wastewater treatment, and even a potential way of blocking radiation damage to humans in the event of a nuclear disaster. <laughs> Talk about a plant with many applications. Chlorella has a tough cell wall, so if we were just to find some chlorella in a lake or something, chances are we would be unable to digest it. When we buy it in the health food store, it's actually processed. Those cell walls have been broken down. Basically, to break the cell walls down, the chlorella is put in a centrifuge and the mechanical action of the centripetal force causes disintegration of the cell wall. So how does chlorella stack up nutritionally speaking? Well, it's 58% protein. It's also one of the more efficiently absorbed plant proteins that we know of. In addition, it contains all nine essential amino acids. Chlorella is also a great source of B12, and the form of B12 it has is the one that's readily absorbed, so it's a good solution for vegans, or really for anyone else who's deficient in B12. Chlorella happens to be very rich in iron. It's also rich in vitamin C, which helps you absorb all that iron. It may come as no surprise to you that chlorella is rich in something called chlorophyll because of the rich green color. But did you know it contains many other pigments which also happen to be good for our overall health? Beta-carotene is one example of these pigments. These pigments have multiple therapeutic properties, such as antioxidant activities, protection against retinal degeneration, regulation of blood cholesterol or lipid levels, protection against cardiovascular or heart disease, and protection against colon cancer even. What else is chlorella high in? Well, it's high in potassium, magnesium, and zinc. It also happens to be an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids. Just three grams of chlorella delivers 100 milligrams of omega-3s. Remember, the only reason that fish are so high in omega-3s is because they eat algae like chlorella that are higher in omega-3s. So when you're eating chlorella, you're getting your omega-3s right from the source. So what are some of the health benefits of chlorella? Well, first off, chlorella is an immune system booster. One study published in 2011 took a group of men and fed half of them chlorella tablets and half of them a placebo or a sugar pill, and they did this for four weeks. After four weeks of supplementation, they found that salivary immunoglobulin concentrations, so immunoglobulins are a measure of your immune system in your saliva, so salivary immunoglobulin concentrations were significantly elevated in the chlorella group. This information suggests that chlorella improves mucosal immune function in humans. Second, chlorella can fight toxicity from estrogen mimicking compounds in plastic like BPA. There are many plastics out there that have BPA and BPA-like substances in them. We know these can be endocrine disruptors. This study demonstrates biodegradation of BPA and disappearance of its estrogenic activity, all done courtesy of chlorella. Does this mean we should eat a bunch of chlorella and not care about BPA in plastics? Absolutely not. It's much better to avoid plastics, if at all possible. Just avoid that BPA exposure. That being said, chlorella could help decrease the unavoidable exposure that we all likely have. On this note, scientists are experimenting with using chlorella in wastewater to decrease contamination from BPA plastics. Third, 
Chlorella appears to prevent damage caused by smoking. This study looked at the effects of supplementing with chlorella in smokers. They found that chlorella supplementation actually decreased inflammation and oxidative stress. So it improved antioxidant status in smokers. Again, does this mean that you should supplement with chlorella and continue to smoke light up all the time? Of course not. Better to not smoke in the first place, right? Fourth, chlorella may protect against dementia. Many experts agree that dementia is caused by persistent oxidative stress. Animal studies have shown that consumption of chlorella reduces oxidative stress and prevents cognitive decline. We've yet to see data like this on humans, but the studies are highly encouraging. Fifth, chlorella reduces cardiac risk factors. Recently, a meta-analysis of multiple randomized controlled trials analyzing 797 people revealed that chlorella improves the following cardiovascular risk factors. And by the way, all these findings were statistically significant in this meta-analysis. It improved total cholesterol, LDL or the bad cholesterol, systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, fasting blood glucose, all those markers improved with chlorella supplementation. Sixth, Chlorella may increase exercise capacity. A small study in cycling volunteers demonstrated an increase in VO2 max or exercise capacity after supplementing with chlorella for four weeks. Seventh, chlorella may improve eye health. Chlorella contains lutein and zeaxanthin, two carotenoids that protect the eye and lower the risk of macular degeneration. By now, you might be thinking this chlorella is looking like pretty good stuff. But it may not be perfect for everybody, and there's some concerns that I have about recommending chlorella for all comers. Here they are. One, because chlorella is a processed food and technically a supplement, not all sources could be safe. There's concern about contamination during processing. Alternatively, what it says on the label may not be exactly what's in the jar. These concerns go for all supplements, though. I have them for any supplement that I find on the shelf. So, if you supplement, be sure you get them from a reputable source. Your best bet is to find this reputable source in a brand that has some sort of quality assurance seal from a third-party testing company, usually. Number two, chlorella can have GI side effects in some people, mainly nausea and some abdominal discomfort. These side effects are not very common, and the only way to find out whether you're going to get them or not is to try it and see how you feel. Number three, because chlorella has immune effects, it may not be the best option for someone who has an immunodeficiency or is on an immune system altering medication like chemotherapy. Okay, so you've determined you want to start supplementing with chlorella. How do you do it? How much do you take? What do you start with? What's the max dose? Is there a harmful dose, etc.? Most of the research is done on subjects taking two to three grams a day. A few studies have supplemented with up to 10 grams a day, so we know that that amount is perfectly safe. Lastly, my last concern, have you ever smelled chlorella? It smells, well, ocean-y. Some people find that smell repulsive. If you're one of those people, maybe it's best to take it in pill form rather than a powder you would add to things like your smoothie, or maybe best not to supplement with it. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please comment below with your thoughts and questions on the topics covered. Until next time, guys. Aloha.